Welcome to episode 9 of the Wower Gold Brainstorms minicast. Um, today's topic is leveling alts. Uh, my altitis is actually back and I'm really, really happy. <laughs> um, it's been a long time since she left me, but um, now... Yeah, man, um, I'm leveling my Warlock, and I'm deciding on what to level next. Probably the Mage, my Blacksmith, and Alchemist. Um, so my Warlock right now is level 88, um, very close to level 89. And I must say that... Uh, I don't know, I, I, I've tried to analyze what it is, like what happened, but... If we look at it from this this point of view, um, in like let's see, wrath. Yep, I did alts in wrath. Um, but really, like in BC, that was the last time that I really pushed my alts. Um, although that isn't correct. Um, but anyways, long story short. The way that I've played my alts has has changed. Um, in BC, it was all about, you know, playing as many uh, different characters as possible, and and leveling them to max level, and eventually going for the ten, one of every class, and then realizing that like rogue wouldn't happen, shaman wouldn't happen, um, and then now, um, it's like, because I think. And this is why I can't talk right now, and that, that's basically because there's different ideas going on at the same time, where I notice that, that there's multiple topics going on here. And I'll actually, hold on, I'll, I'll write something down. Um, yeah, so I wrote down a couple of topics there, and um, the idea is, with alts, since I want to stick to this topic right now, um, the idea I have now is I want to level my alts and I want to increase the amount of alts that I have at level up until level, let's say, I think it's 80, yeah, or so. So, and actually, I have a couple of recruit, recruiter friend accounts, and I just realized that I have months of. Uh, playtime available like free months like um, I think I have five accounts and I think one of them is US or at least yeah one is US I don't know if two is but um, I really feel like going for the the um, what you call that um, what, hold on I want to check that since I'm at home Recording is actually slower because I get distracted a lot easier. Um, but really, I, I want to level alt, and I'm really, really, I really feel like doing um, recruit friend and level my guild, my personal uh, gold making guild. Well, I have more than one, but there's one guild that I would push more for, uh, for the sake of having hasty hearth, because I think that's the number one. Yep, that's the number one reason that I'll do it. I know that I, I was, in the past, in Cataclysm, I was I was very interested in the whole uh, leveling guild to 25 and, and getting the um, the gold looting perk. But on my realm, that's not viable. There's too few play, uh, too few players. Play, oh my god, not enough players. So I'm skipping that. Um, right now I'm on the Blizzard store, and the prices are 14.99 euro. So. Um, but I think I'll buy a couple of more accounts eventually. So what I'll do in a pretty close... Hmm. Yeah, gotta... Actually, I'm gonna write that down too. Um, the thing that I want to do eventually is... And this is... Oh my god, there's so many topics. Okay, so... The problem with being at home is, you know, as you can hear in the background, my girlfriend is talking to uh, the six-year-old, <laughs> and he's going to bed soon, so that's cool. But 
yeah, with the alt, what I want to do is I want to level alt. And right now I'm leveling the warlock. He's the second one that, that's heading for 90. <laughs> 90. <laughs> and if I put all levels together, I think I'd have three 90s or so. If you look at levels, although the level 89 to 90 is uh, the longest one. But with the um, when you have rested XP, it really, really speeds things up in a way that, that just makes it... I mean, like the higher the higher level you play at, like it, let's say you ding 87 and you go Kun Lai instantly, I mean, the XP that you get, and I mean, if you're rested, it's just so much more. So it really adds up. And also running dungeons, I mean, it's all, it's all gravy. It's all gravy. So what I'm doing on the Warlock now is I'm running every dungeon once, and I'm not really stressing it because sometimes I don't really have the time to stay in for a dungeon. So I might queue and then leave, and sometimes I log in, log out, log in, log out, just to save the flask buffs and food buff and whatever. And I also, I haven't even bought the the gear from, is it? Not Shadow Path, fall back. Whatever the flight path is, it's the flight path nearest um, the... Uh, this guy crawled the blade. He's a rare spawn. I think it's Treadwaste, Talong Steps. I have no idea. Anyways, one of those areas. Uh, orange if you use NPC Scan Overlay. So, with these alts, what I'm planning to do, and this also dives into a later topic, but what I want to do is I want to make sure that I... I think the most important thing that has changed with me and my playstyle as a as a player overall is that I've gone back to the BC mentality where I want to be as good as possible and I want to push progression uh, current content now like just you know max 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 shit out and um, also using that mentality with my alts means that I don't necessarily need to LFR them out or whatever you know make them raid viable but I want to make sure that when I level the tombs, I know what the hell I'm doing. And by doing that, it makes me a lot more knowledgeable of the classes and the differences and the, the weaknesses of different specs. And now that doesn't mean that, because usually when I level, I just go for one spec at a time. Uh, and then if, if, some, if something feels too iffy, I just you know try and respec and try something else. But usually I go for one spec and stick to that. And I'm actually thinking about leveling healers Although the thought, the thought, the thought scares me. So we'll see. Um, the priest is definitely one of those. I think, I think I'll try holy. Um, maybe begin healing in like cataclysm dungeons or even heal with guildies. Although um, the priest is in another guild. Yeah, the banking guild I was that I was talking about. And I really want to. Um, I really want to be able to um, get the hasty hearth. Really, I mean that though that those fifteen minutes. Yeah, I can't talk. The fifteen minutes really add up. Um, so it's a real time saver, especially if you're if you're doing like multiple alts at the same time, and then you can do the hasty hearth and whatever. There's there's a lot of utility in that. The Dalron rings and and stuff uh, on every tune and. Yeah, also, man, it's fun, man. I love alts. I've missed it. Um, so, yeah, man. I think that's it for now. Just keep it short. Um, so, one of the main reasons that I'm back uh, with the alts and all that is um, I, read, I read a great post written by Zero Hour. Uh, he's from Zero Hour's Nameless Blog. Go there great stuff if you're into gold making or if you're into a different kind of mindset um, and I made the connection to uh, Geblon in the way that or in the sense that he um, he thinks in a different way from what I've seen most bloggers write especially gold makers and he he uh, he's also into the whole like do not waste time if you can I mean like save as much time as possible be efficient and make sure make sure that you know your shit. So, um, yeah, I got inspired by that. Also, listening to the training dummies with um, Hotpox, Rob. You know, leveling. I think he has. Is it eight nineties now? I don't know. It's like 
and I mean, there's other, there's another part. Uh, who else? Uh, there's more people leveling alts like crazy. I have guildies that level alts. They have like ten or whatever it is now, and I mean, and some run two accounts too. So I mean, it's it, it really comes down to the fact that. I need to catch up. Yeah, Horde for Life, of course. Rich Fisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to level a couple of alts, too. Um, so, but there's more people like that. But, so, I've really felt like I've missed out on a big part of WoW by not having my altitis, like, being active the way that it used to be. I mean, especially with mists. I mean, the gold-making thing just fell through the, um, I don't know what. And... When I lost the gold-making desire, I just couldn't find a reason to level alts. It really didn't make sense to me. But now, it's like from another angle where I want to raid with my hunter, which I do, like once a week. And right now, we've at least gone two weeks in a row, so that's good. And I think, I think we're coming back into it. We're in the Heart of Fear, second boss. That's a topic for another day, but... Um, I mean, it's it's really. I'm trying to think here. Um, yeah. Anyways, with the whole like pushing myself, getting better, I'm, I really noticed now that doing we did um, Shaw of Fear and Galleon on Bronze Dragonflight, and we had some PvP going on. Although I never got to see any action, but we were flagged for Shaw of Fear, and. The best thing with that was, I just was, I was like, oh shit, cool, you know, some PvP going on, and they're like, yeah, cool. So I go BM, you know, so I'll be prepared if needed, and you know, DPS the boss. And then for um, Galleon, I mean, there wasn't any, I don't know why, but for Galleon, they're more like, no, no, you know, no. I guess it's because of half hill, more people can get there faster. I have no idea, but for some reason, Horde, you know, piss their pants. So no, no PvP activity for Galleon at all ever <laughs> um hold on no nah, i thought it was a little grace now nah, but so the thing there is um the when like when i play my hunter now i really feel like i can i can switch backs and just be pretty com be uh, pretty competitive especially if i compare myself to like because what i do with um these pugs like realm pugs is that I um, compare my DPS to other hunters, and I mean sometimes there was, I mean sometimes it's just like crazy low because I'm either not paying attention, or lagging out, or you know other stuff like that. I'm not even gonna continue where I left off. Um, with the alts, um, my warlock is level 89, and right now I'm just so. It's it's uh can't really explain but but there's been there's been one hell of a weekend when it comes to fatherhood and family and responsibilities. So having a Monday where most things just align family wise, World of Warcraft wise, um it's just great. Even like my girlfriend's hobby she started up a blog and I helped her out a bit and there there was some stuff some you know, some stuff that I found that will be beneficial for my world of Warcraft blog, so well while we're gold. And I it's just I feel great. You know, this expansion I love it. Gold Scrawler answered my question about dailies. Basically asked why they lifted the cap uh with mists and the answer was since there's lower level dailies and uh not to have them cap well can't explain it but basically with the lower level dailies um they raise the cap so that you can do all dailies regardless of which world you're in so i understand that and it's just a it's just it's a great expansion it really is it's uh it's uh I've never felt this um this how can I put it 
it's like um I don't know it's it, I really like I've been an alcoholic since day one in a sense because uh, even from the beginning I knew that I would I was going to play my hunter and then I would level my main who was supposed to be a mage back then and that didn't happen and I mean since then I've had this idea of having you know tons of characters and it's just interesting that I've had a long break from that um, even in Wrath even when I did level tunes there I didn't really I didn't push forward the way that I would have expected and then the gold making got in and then I got kind of I just thought like Wrath was piss easy and I didn't believe in hard modes because it was like doing the same content now that I've been more attuned or assimilated to the new system and how it works it's more okay for me to kill a boss and then do it on a harder mode because it's kind of like the harder mode is the real mode so to speak and I, I can I can get that it's kind of like a practice run before you get to do the real thing um but I mean, there's just there's tons of thoughts going on, um, and I, I just feel like <sighs> right now, like an example is I'm using the remote auction house to buy mats as much as possible, like just you know, completely. Um, it's not like it's not that I have to spend, um, or it's not that I have to do 200 transactions, but if I do, I'm happy. Because then I know that I really maximized uh, the amount of stuff that I could get out of there and, and use it for, like for the day. It's kind of like a daily cap for myself, and I enjoy it. You know, I really do. It, and it's, I mean, eventually when I get the second account going and recruit a friend and, and just basically get get all. Wow, I need to hold on here. Need to think things through here. He's got mining bags. And I'm at home again, recording. Um, I actually need to make bags for my... Okay, fuck it. I need to make more bags, basically. For my mage. Herb bags, he's an alchemist. And he's in the same guild as my scribe, so... And it's not... I'm not... And this is the best part. And I mean, this is the thing that really makes me feel so great about the way that I play the game. Especially in, a, in an expansion like Mists, where everyone is... Not everyone, sorry, but tons of people are like overwhelmed. And they feel like, oh, I don't know. I have to do dailies. I feel forced. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> I mean, dude. It's... Oh, shit, lost my train of thought. I'm tired. and But it really... What it comes down to is just the fact that I'm playing the game, and I'm loving it, and I'm spending my time as a father, uh, as a more efficient gamer. I will not waste the time that I wasted in Kata, and, and I just love that fact. You know, it's, it's really, it's a huge positive for me. It really is. It, it's 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 pretty unmeasurable, I guess you could say, because um, it it means that. that I can really increase my life quality or quality of life I guess you could say um, because I I get to play World of Warcraft and I do it on a level that is um, higher than it has been previously and it's also it's also on like a higher level like across the board so like with the uh, 5.3 patch that's coming when I get into PvP I'll get into PvP more seriously than I ever have because now there is no I won't have that feeling of like I have to have that gear I mean of course I mean there will be that feeling but it's but it will be a lot more um, what could you say uh, well a lot less <laughs> I can't find the words for it. And I mean, the PvP thing is something that I'll, that I'll talk about later on, so fuck that shit. Um, but I mean, really, it, it's just awesome. I like it. So I, w I don't want to rant, rant on forever, but alts, 
it's a great thing. The Warlock thing, the 89. And uh, right now I'm doing my daily cooldowns. I'm even doing the Scrolls of Wisdom because I'm kind of like, okay, if I'm going to play alts, I'm going to need the, um, what's that called? The, the bind on the cow thing, the staff of whatever uh, for my casters. And not only that, um, my, um, what's that called? My casters. Yep. First is my casters. Cause I mean, I always go DPS and then eventually I think I'll go for the healers and then maybe for the, you know, either way, I, I really feel like <sighs> I feel powerful, you know, there's this whole whole thing where I'm, you know, overcoming my codependency in real life, and I can really tell that my emotions and the way that I, that my life is, that I, the way that I'm structuring things and getting more, um, well, less chaotic, since chaos is something I've been used to since I was a kid, it, re it really feels like I'm, I'm becoming a better role model for my kids, and I like that. I really like it. You know, it's a it's a great feeling, you know. And uh, the six year old today, man, he, he's been in a good mood, loving it. I've, it's been it's been great. Um, you know, putting him to bed is not the easiest task, and uh, it was just we had a blast. You know, we laughed so hard. It was it was lovely. You know, lovely times. So anyway, I think that's it for now. Um. Yep, it is. So I'll see you guys. Peace out.